This tech tip will review how remote sense impacts diagnosing voltage complaints. Before we explain that, let's quickly review the basics. An alternator has two basic functions. First, it regulates the voltage so that the electrical system has a stable voltage source. For most commercial vehicles, it is regulated at 14.2 volts. Secondly, the alternator provides the necessary current to recharge batteries and operate the vehicle electrical loads. When heavy current demand conditions exist, resistance losses in the power cables can limit the regulated voltage available, sometimes by as much as a half volt. This results in a lower battery state of charge and less efficient operation. The cable loss can be overcome by using an alternator equipped with the remote sense. Rather than regulating the voltage at the alternator V plus output stub, the remote sense input serves as a regulation point. The alternator remote sense wiring is typically terminated at the batteries or main electrical junction block through the use of a fuse. If the remote sense wiring is not connected, the regulator reverts to internal sense at the alternator B plus stud. The Delcoremi 33, 34, 35, and 36 SI alternator families may be supplied with a red jumper wire between the B plus and remote sense studs. If you're not using the remote sense, leave the jumper in place per the instructions. But if you are using a remote sense, then you should remove the jumper. If your alternator is using remote sense, then you will need to keep these tips in mind when performing charging system tests. Remote sense will elevate the system voltage to overcome the cable voltage drop and regulate at the point of termination. A voltage drop between an alternator and the point of termination should be less than one half volt. If excessive voltage drop is found within the system, then you should visually inspect the electrical connections and cables at the starter, battery bank, and alternator. Check for corrosion, wire chafing, and proper torque on all terminals. Make any necessary repairs and recheck the voltage drop. The voltage drop between the remote sense input and the point of termination should be close to zero volts with the system operating. If excessive voltage drop is found within the system, check all the terminations, fuse, and wiring for corrosion and proper torque. Another way to check the charging system is to record the operating voltage and then disconnect the remote sense connection at the alternator and measure the operating voltage. The difference between the two values is a combination of the cable voltage drop and remote sense input offset. If it is in excess of one half volt, then your next step is to determine which set of wiring is at fault. Refer to manufacturer's service policy and procedures for additional details. And if you have any questions, visit us at delcoremi.com or contact us at the number listed on the screen.